Hello, hello. I am Kalua and I am steeping up some clarity. So today I want to talk about your tongue. So do you have a cold tongue and what does that mean? Basically, if your tongue is very pale, right, kind of white, not uh, nice rosy pink, and um, if it's thick, if, you, if when you stick out your tongue, you know, stick it out, don't like force your tongue out, but just uh, let it hang out. And is it, uh, is it kind of thick? Does it have scalloped edges? Those are indications that you've got some coolness in your body and you want to warm it up. So, uh, th as you may have just seen, this is something that I have. <laughs> I have a tendency to really love to eat salads and drink smoothies, and I did it all winter long, <laughs> and so I'm paying for it now, and I'm needing to make some adjustments to my you know, eating practice so that I am not going through that, because what are the, some of the things that you can experience from that? You know, when you've got too much cold, it really slows your digestion down. It makes it sluggish. So in my case, I had some inflammation going on. It was like being bloated all the time. I had um, where I was starting to have more and more and more food sensitivities. You know, like I had always been able to eat anything and all of a sudden everything was giving me a reaction, mainly like an eczema skin reaction. And um, it, it was just like, I kept having to cut out so many different things and it was really frustrating. So I started to go back to, let's get back to the root of this and, and stop cutting out foods, stop dealing with symptoms and let's get to the root, to the source of the problem. And so I went back to looking at my tongue. Let's find the source and that's what I found. In my spleen stomach area that um, I had a lot of cold so what am I to do right I uh, I love my smoothies and I love my salads so I started to make some adaptations I um, I took certain parts of the uh, the salad and I stir fried it I quick warm it up and I put some things in there like along with the lettuce or what have you to, to warm up the temperature. And then I'd add things like ginger, which is just a warming food energetically, right? So different things like that to just warm up the temperature of the food. No ice in your drinks, no eating food straight out of the refrigerator, right? No, you want things to be at least room temperature. And this is true for everybody, not just if you have a cold condition, because if you're doing this, you can develop a cold condition. So, um, the other thing was my smoothies. I love my smoothies. And I recently came across something because here's the thing, like the bananas are dampening and cooling the, the cold frozen berries or damping. It was just a big cold drink that just slowed down the whole process. So I found this, um, basically like a tea latte recipe, which hello, perfect. And I use the sugar buster tea because a lot of the um, herbs in that are very warming. They're gonna, you know, cleanse your digestive system and also get it moving. Um, you know, get the, the blood sugar all straightened out, get like just warming up the, the stomach, the belly fire, right? Which, by the way, I'm also drinking my belly fire tea. <laughs> so I use that uh, sugar buster tea to create this tea latte and I, it still has you know like the protein powder and you know the different things that I add into it and you blend it up and it makes this really nice frothy warm like kind of chai-ish drink which is really delicious so that's what I've been doing if you want to know more about that I'm happy to tell you just message me and I'll get you some information on that but yeah, and then so every day, midday, I am drinking this belly fire. And this is maybe one of my most polarizing teas because it's a little different than the others. It's uh, very specifically meant to warm up, you know, the belly, the, the stomach and, and spleen and the digestion in your body. And so I, I nickname it taco tea because it does have cumin in it. So it has a little bit of that, that you know, cumin taste. And so, you know, I've seen 
you know, and some people really like it. I happen to really like it. So um, that might be one you want to try a sample with. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing for myself. And I tell you what, I am seeing some real improvements in both my tongue <laughs> and also in my, my physical being. And, you know, I'm not having to take out so many foods anymore. And I have gotten rid of the bloating. Hallelujah. And quite honestly, I have um, almost completely cleared up the eczema, but let's knock on wood on that one. So, so that's what I've been doing to work on me. And, um, you know, I know other people who are in the same boat and, you know, sometimes that can be the, the frustrating part is, yeah, I've got these things I love and now I've got to change them. Well, pick one thing you're willing to commit to. Make it sustainable because if you're not willing to commit to it, you're not going to do it. So, right, just pick one thing. That's easy. Maybe it is just drinking that one cup of tea. And quite honestly, that's how I started out. I wasn't ready to get rid of the smoothies. So I said, you know what, I'll drink the tea to counteract them. <laughs> okay. And then I was doing that and I was starting to see some improvement and feel a little better. And I was like, you know what, I want to keep feeling even more better. <laughs> so I just kept going and decided to go ahead and make another tweak one tweak after another tweak after another tweak, right? And that's just how we move ahead. So um, the other thing and uh, big reason I bring this one up today is because a lot of times when there's coldness in the spleen, so the spleen tends to be the emotion, uh, the, the organ associated with the uh, emotion of worry and stress. So it's very common for people to have issues in this area and um, you know, one will affect the other. So if you're stressed, it will affect the organ. And if the organ is not working properly, it will make you feel more stressed. So it's a back and forth situation. So that's just a little bit of my clarity today. I hope it was valuable for you. Reach out if you have any questions and have an amazing week. Bye guys.